Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix. A few weeks ago, we got our DJI Mavic Pro in the mail. I did an unboxing, and now it's time to tear it down. Now before I get to the teardown, I do want to announce the winner of the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. I just ran all the comments from the teardown video through a YouTube random comment picker, and One Kiss CPC is the winner. I did reply to their comment to let them know, but if you're watching it here, please contact me through our website, tronixfix.com. Let's get to the teardown. So the first step in this teardown is gonna to be to take the battery out. After the battery's removed, we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna remove the memory card. And next what we're gonna do is remove this bottom piece right here. And for that, we're gonna be using a 1.5 hex bit. Now there's eight of these screws and you'll wanna keep in mind that this screw and this screw are a little bit longer than the rest of the screws. So you will need to keep these in order or keep track of them somehow so you know which is which. After those screws are removed, the housing will lift off. It's kind of tricky. You gotta get something in the little uh, grooves right here. I just used my fingernails, but was able to get it off. It's going to be a little bit tricky to get off because there's um, I'll show you there's some thermal paste under here that's going to be real sticky and it's going to stick against these uh, the chips in here where they go. So there's a view of all the thermal paste and obviously that thermal paste there is there to keep those chips cool. And something interesting about this bottom plate, as you can see, there's fins here. So this bottom plate's gonna act as a heat, heat sink as this thing's flying around. So that's part of the way this thing cools. Another part of the way is it does have a fan in it and we'll get to that in just a minute. So next we're gonna remove this motherboard out of the top. And to do that, we're gonna need to take out several screws, all these Wi-Fi connections and several ribbon cables. To remove the screws, I'm gonna be using a Phillips double zero. And there are three screws, one screw here, one screw here, and one screw here. Now that those have been removed, I'm gonna remove these Wi-Fi cables. To remove the cables, I'm gonna be using this plastic pry tool, and I'm just gonna get right under the edge and pry up on each one. Okay, and now, since these are so close together, I'm actually gonna take some Sharpies and I'm gonna mark these just to make sure I get them in the right order when I put them back on. Unlike my game console teardowns, I've never torn this drone apart before. And so I've gotta be a little bit more careful than I am when I tear apart game consoles, just to make sure I get it all back together exactly how it needs to go. Now, these three connectors are gonna come off, as well as this connector right here. I'm gonna use my fingernail to get under the connector. This is kinda of like an iPhone connector, if any of you have done those. And I'm just gonna pull each of those up very carefully and as you can see those cables are now loose now for this cable this cable does have a dab of some sort of adhesive sort of stuff so i do need to remove that before i get the cable out of the connector this little ribbon cable cable is a little bit more difficult because some of this silicone adhesive stuff kind of got up in the connector so that did make the ribbon cable hard to get out so you have to be very careful not to tear this ribbon cable in order to remove the motherboard, we need to lift up on this end and then pull this way a little bit and then pull back. So you can see I've gotten it loose and now we're gonna pull up this way a little bit and now that's enough to get it loose. So on the first motherboard we take out, we've got two ultrasonic sensors, actually one total. We've got one sending an ultrasonic signal and one receiving. We also have two landing cameras. And now that we have that motherboard out, we can see the actual camera and video board and we've got the camera and video sensor here and then we've got other components components over here as well and this also gives us a look at the fan you can see the cooling fan right in here and that obviously pulls air in through these slots and it blows it over both of those boards back there and that's what helps to keep these things cool now we will remove this screw this screw this screw and this screw with those screws removed we then need to turn it over and remove these four screws and these two screws. So one of the most difficult parts of removing this part of the case is there's two tabs right there and there's two tabs right there. And what I'm using is just a small screwdriver to get in there and just push on those tabs. After you've removed those clips, there are two other screws 
one screw is right here and another screw is under this. So I'm just gonna use a small opening tool to remove that and that shows the other screw. So that's what I'm gonna remove next. Once these screws are removed, we'll set it down on the table and we still need to disengage a clip located right here and right here. So I'm gonna take my opening tool and I'm gonna run it along the edge just like this. I'm sorry you won't be able to see it very well, but I'll do the best I can. So you heard the clips come loose. Now we do have, it feels like some clips, clips in the front maybe. So we're just hitting on two clips right in the front right here. So we'll disengage those next. There's one. And there's the other one. And now this lifts off. Now there is one cable right here in the back that I'm gonna pull off. And for this, we're just gonna grasp it and pull back and forth gently until it comes off. So here we have the camera and gimbal connectors. We also have the forward cameras. And then down below, we have the main wires that go from the battery to this motherboard. And then as you can see, we also have the wires that go from the motherboard out to the motors on each arm. And also located in the rear of the DJI Mavic, we have the Wi-Fi card right back here. And also we have the fan that's right behind these large wires right here. Now that we got our DJI Mavic Pro torn down, reassembled, we can finally take it out for its first flight. Thanks for watching.